Hi Taurus, this one is for you. Um, we're going to focus on your past, the present, future, and I'm going to try to pull some messages of advice for you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. So let's get started. Okay. What has happened in the past for Taurus? Okay, so in the past, there's been some Five of Cups energy and Seven of Swords. So someone has kept secrets and someone's broken someone else's heart. So there's been a, um, I feel like an episode of grieving over this, over something. Okay, what about current? What about present? Page of Pentacles. So with this Page of Pentacles for the present energy, um, there's a new opportunity that's manifesting for you. And maybe it's still in the beginner stage. I almost feel like this new opportunity is something different in a relationship. Like maybe a relationship is actually coming together with you and someone. Or it's going to be taken to the next level with this person. So in the past, there was a lot of um, things that were unknown. A lot of mystery. And the present I feel like someone is going to take their relationship to the next level so say if you guys were friends maybe you're going to start dating if you're dating you're going to become um exclusive um if you are exclusively dating you're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend like you know maybe it's like a baby step if you're you've been together for a while maybe there's a marriage on a on the horizon or some type of commitment um, or society, societal contract. Okay. What about the future? Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. The future is judgment. So there is going to be a decision made for the future. As I said again, there's um, the judgment. This could indicate a judge. Wink, wink. Marriage society societal contract um some type of commitment maybe you're going to move in sign some paperwork but this judgment does represent something that um has a obligation to it between you know you and your person Ooh. what is the advice here what is the advice here The advice here is ten of pentacles look at that so again i feel like marriage or a higher level of commitment in someone's relationship is going to um, manifest itself um, with this ten of pentacles it's you're going to have spiritual abundance generosity um um you, you're going to build a legacy with somebody i'm sorry i drew a bl I'm blank <laughs> Um, some type of spiritual connection, a family, um, generational wealth. There, I, I really feel in this energy, the advice is that if you have a person and you guys are taking it to the next level, um, definitely it, it's um, probably time or it's it suggested that the advice is to make it official. So let me, let me just do a clarification card really quick. Because 
I almost feel like in the past you didn't know where this relationship was going and somebody made you an offer. You had um, to make a judgment and the advice is Ten of Pentacles. Is this, nope. Hold on. What is the Ten of Pentacles? Can you clarify the Ten of Pentacles for the advice, please? Okay. So the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and I think that this is something, this Ten of Pentacles is something someone else wants. So they've overcome a lot with a specific person, their person. They want to take their relationship, whatever stage in the relationship you are in, you want to take it to the next level. You want to get some type of um, society, societal contract or legal partnership, marriage, something, some type of commitment from this person because you are looking at the the ten of pentacles like generational wealth abundance two people coming together marriage happy happily ever after etc but the person that you want this with seems to be moving slower than you would like like it's moving in that direction but this person is just like taking their time they're just like they have the water they have everything that they need with you but they're kind of like oh okay you know we'll get to it and it's kind of making you frustrated. So the advice here is to not stop until you get what you want. You know, don't force it if it's not meant to be. But certainly, you know, don't um, compromise yourself when it comes to something that you want and, and something that you've been waiting for and some, something that someone has been promising you. Um, make them honor their word. Or if not, then keep on moving. You know, two other cards fell out too. I'm going to see if they have any relevance. Well, three other cards, gosh. So nine of wands is like you're carrying a heavy burden. Maybe you didn't tell this person how you, you you're not telling them how you even truly feel. You think about this a lot. You want this higher level of commitment, whatever it is for you. Like you want this person to make a decision. So, you know, you feel like this person is your eternal love. You know, there's a lot of passion almost like a, a twin flame type of energy so you're like hey why not just make it official so okay Taurus that's what I have for you thank you